Hello. Welcome to Goner TV. I'm here trying to be as cool as Billups. It's not working. Not working, but I got my shades on. We got a, we got a, a, a the, the wrong cooler. We got, I mean, it's, it's, uh, Billups has been uh, really holding it down. Like uh, a deer in headlights. Yeah. He's, uh, he's not feeling well tonight, so we're trying to fill in. Vaccinations are important, though, people. So let's do this thing. I wasn't going to say that he was sick because of a vaccination, because that might discourage someone from getting one. Come on, people, come on. We got to do this thing. 24 hours, you're in and out. But sometimes it gets in the way of uh, the number, the world's number one host of Goner TV being able to host properly. So you get us. It's, it's Eric and Zach back here at Goner TV. Hello, everybody. You're, you wonder why we got a, someone else to do this. Um, it's uh, thanks to Billups for uh, doing such a great job. Uh, well, he really is the best. We we got our Goner Fest special here uh, today, which we'll be talking about Goner Fest for the next few months, of course. But uh, some big stuff coming later in the show, and and we have some uh, special friends calling in to talk about Goner Fest. We've got uh, another nature bit from Chelly. Oh, good. We've got Alec uh, talking about records in a little bit. He's, um, that that'll be great. Yeah, and a, a lot of uh, cool sets or songs from oh, we are, sets from I, goner fest we do we just saw guitar wolf out at the gazebo a goner fest 10 I started with guitar wolf and ended with mud honey i mean or, or cosmic psychos which one was the last one i think actually it was cosmic psychos it was what a festival it's all it a blur when you're editing this stuff yeah it's hard to know where you are in time or space um so yeah that's that's what we got coming up um but uh, hopefully we'll have Effie uh, call in in a second. I think he's our he's our first. Uh, our first. I think that's oh, wait, him right wait there. Wait a second. Hold on. Did that really just happen like that? Making magic on TV. <laughs> Effie, are you there? Do we and do I'm we have a caller? On, do we have a caller on the line? Yeah, you do. Can you hear me? We, I can hear you. Can you hear us? I can hear you just fine. And I, uh, by the way, I see what you all did there. Episode 18, Goner Fest 18. Brilliant. The wheels of Thank intellect you. never stop turning in the goddamn Thank Goner you. shop. Okay. It's Thank important. You. You, have to ca you have to catch these things. We're throwing these things out for you people. And like thank East you, Effie, for catching up on it. There's They're a like YouTube East video of a guy going through our old episodes and, and showing. He watches them at one-third speed. And he's caught all the Easter eggs. So look for that. He's a okay. funny British guy. He's he's on Twitch and he, he mostly uh, watches uh, superhero shows. So uh, so right. look for that. Basically, aka the pandemic has gone on way too long. Yeah. For our all of our good, not just the the diseases is uh, hurting us. This uh, obsession with YouTube or whatever. One third. But anyway, speed. Speed. yeah. All right. All right. Cut cut everything down a third, and everything is better. That's yeah. what that's that is the lesson right here. So so F you what what uh, made you want to come to Goner Fest in the first place? Okay, well, okay, uh, well uh, I, mean, I mean, you know, I've you know, I've been a fan of garage rock and stuff since like the late nineties, man. I, I was in I went to Las Vegas Shakedown. I went to L.A. Shakedown mm -hmm. when everything mm -hmm. hit the fan. That was like yeah, that 20 was, years ago, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So, you know, mm -hmm. I, I've been a fan for the longest time. And, uh, you know, I, I was my first gone actual Goner Fest was in 2016. I wanted to go before, but I was living in Japan. I couldn't. So, yeah. It's a longer uh, trip there. Yeah. Oh, totally. Like I wait. I waited for one week seriously. But then I thought I'd just be jet lagged to hell for one whole weekend. And yeah. uh, so I, I finally waited until I came back to Canada to live where I live now. So, yeah. So, so you came to Memphis and uh, you, you came back. What, what, uh, what about the festival brought you back? Or do you have any uh, uh, memories that really stand out for you? Okay. okay. For sure. And I, I wrote something down. I'm going to read it for you real quick. But let me just say what brought me back is that I saw the vibe and the, the community feel, and I was like, this is how it's going to be. It's not going to change dramatically. 
it's not going to be like, you know, uh, name another big Memphis festival. I have no idea. Uh, there, there are there are some, but you don't want to go to them. I'm assuming. Exactly, exactly. So I knew from year to year it wasn't gonna all of a sudden turn into one of those, right? So yeah, um, best way to meet people, repeat people. There's Canadians, there's Kiwis, you know, Aussies, obviously Americans, people from Japan. It's amazing. So yeah, I mean, and and that uh, the store is legendary, and it was kind of I was a bit starstruck the first time. So. Definitely. Well, that, that's that's nice to hear, you know. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. you're right. I mean, it's it's last year we tried to pull off a online festival, keeping the same vibe. And that went off, we thought, uh, pretty well. And this year we're sort of uh, trying to do the same thing with a whole lot of uh, restrictions. So uh, we'll see how that goes. But you're right. We try to keep it the same. And really, it's the people that come that establish that vibe. And uh, it was it was surprisingly it was fun. fun. I was able to watch and smoke marijuana in my house, which, by the way, is legal in Canada. So I hope I'm not breaking any intercontinental laws or whatever. Transnational, Hold on. you know. They're coming through the door right now, Effie. Okay, They're coming exactly. through for us. Crash. Which is owned but, by Amazon now, so probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. Okay, that's sad, but whatever. Well, it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, I, I guess that's good. I mean, that's that's what we wanted to hear. Just the, you know, the the solid uh, testimonial there, all the way from Canada. I think we're also excited about the fact that that we can say that we are going to do something. It's not just going to be streamed this time. I know, right, right. right. I know. Yeah, it's in person. Right? Yeah, like yeah. we're going to actually do one. We're, we're coming back, and uh, you're invited back down. So we are going Everyone's to. Everyone's uh, invited. We're going to have an actual in-person goner fest this year, and uh, and we'll stream it for other people that 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 want to uh, you know smoke marijuana on their couch in Canada and and hang out. That's that may be a large group of our people. We're cool with that, but uh, exactly. but we are actually going to bring it back, and we're going to have an actual physical festival this year so we're excited about that and we do understand that's, that a lot of people are not ready to travel so that's, that's awesome, you know, that's awesome. Yeah. I, I want you all to know it's all up to the pokey at this point i'm willing to get the sputnik vaccine in my eyeball okay all right but canada's got a failing grade there so it might be a while okay yeah but Sneak not going to do it before it's done safely sneak over to russia and uh, and get that sputnik that's right mm -hmm. no kidding yeah. Ab absolutely absolutely right. you do whatever you can that's that's the key that's what we got to do we're so happy that you called in effie thanks so much man Thank you, and all the best and uh, yeah we can't wait to see you again soon all right okay, i think we care. got another caller uh it looks like another line maybe or oh, there is a the the, the goner line is is uh is flashing red i don't i'm not sure exactly what that means i've never seen it before well, is it effie again Caller, are you caller? Hello, hello. Yeah, hello. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Who is this? This is Kevin. I just wanted to say. Kevin, I just wanted to say. I had a great time at Goner Fest. Goner Fest. Six. Six. Since then, no, I went Six. to go. Uh, you remember the Goner Fest Six, right? Fest I was right. the guy in the black, the guy in the black Converse. Converse. I do remember. I remember Six. That was a the, it was it was a while ago. Th Kevin, thanks, uh, thanks for calling in and reminding us. Um, well, uh, do, you still, do you still have those Converse? I do, uh, I do. but since uh, then, I went to go see the go see the anti scene, and I got bitten by a nutria, and therefore I'm in an iron lung. And I was wondering if the venue this year can take a iron lung. Yes, that's yes, a, that's a good question. Could yes. Take a man Iron lung. Yes, of course. Uh, last time, last year, in fact, we had a man in an iron lung stage dive. So, Fantastic. it sounds like you're in the clear. I can't, I, I can't completely remember that, but I, I did have a concussion after the show, and so maybe that had something to do with it. How was the anti scene show? Well, not so good for me. All right. <laughs> The Nutria part of their show, maybe they they should lose that part of the act, you know. I was behind. I was doing some dirt behind the venue. Oh, okay, I understand. 
I know, I know, I know. Jeff Clayton likes to bash his head in. I didn't know if he brought Nutria into the thing, but you know, little little back alley grind, if you know what I mean. I hear you. I hear you. All right. Well, I love Memphis. Great bath salt scene there. We'll see you this year. All right. Come on, come on and visit. Come on and visit. Yeah, bring your whole uh, stick and come on down. We'll we'll see you. Uh, we'll see you in September. All right. I think we're on to some videos. Thanks for the call. Thanks, Kevin. Yeah.
alive. What's up, Garner TV? Shit. Oh, hey. Am, are, we, are, are we here? All right. What's up, Garner TV? I'm in charge. It's Alec. Back with some more record recommendations for you. I got a, I got a stack that's bigger than I should have. Some old, some new, some I don't know why you haven't already bought this shit. So fucking buy it, please. Just it, My life is the drill tweet with music, okay? You know the drill candles tweet? Help, my family is dying. I'm budgeting $17,000 a month on candles. Well, just replace candles with music, and that's what my life is like. So please do me a favor and buy some of this shit so that I don't have to buy it, all right? All right. First up, we got this band New Fries from Canada. I don't know where in Canada, but look it up. Um, the album is called The Idea of Us. It's really good dark post-punk. That's I mean it's it, it's it's kind of hypnotic, but it's not. I mean the po the post-punk thing is thrown around way too much. But this is like danceable, like like really like hypnot. Like you could throw this on a dance mix. And it would go really nicely. Good textural synth stuff. Check it out. New fries. All right, we got a new L LP from Nathan Roach here. It's called "Drink Up Rainforest Sinatra." It's great. I, I, I the what was the Wharf LP that came out a few years back? I've been waiting since then to hear the new Nathan Roach, and uh, he, I think he wrote my my new favorite song, which is. Uh, I can't wait to tour in America again. I can certainly wait, but I can't wait till Nathan Roach comes back. So check it out. Really good, kind of fuzzed out indie rock stuff. This one came, really got me by surprise. New young artist, uh, DJ Blacklow out of South Africa on the Awesome Tapes from Africa label. Uh, the, or the record's called Uwami. This is like really glitched out kind of uh, dance music i i can't even pronounce the genre the like the that it's you know that it's working within but totally caught me by surprise if you're looking to blow your speakers out this will this will do it it's really 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 cool stuff and like from a really young artist like you gotta check this shit out and back in stock we got the nick allison and the players lounge lp make room this is just some good, like, feel good, feel bad, like, cry a happy tear into your beer kind of stuff. Really, really, really hope that we get to see Nick Allison at Goner Fest. So, do some homework. All right, now we're getting into reissue territory. This isn't exactly a reissue, but you've already watched all of this shit on YouTube. Now it's time for you to actually have a decent record of it. Alan Lomax's American Patchwork. It's got a whole, like, virtually every Mississippi Hill Country artist that you want from the Alan Lomax archives. Um, you know, it's got the, that great live take of uh, R.L. Burnside, see my jumper hanging on the line. You want it on, on a record because playing it out of your laptop sucks. So buy this. All right. This is a Brazilian import of Gal Costa's 1969 LP with the original cover art, which you cannot find domestically. So, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. This record is fucking great. Yeah, I, like you, you, you can't, you can't get this shit domestically. All right. And you finally have the real deal cover art, and the mastering sounds awesome. Okay. Like this is in some shoddy like overseas. Like the domestic versions of this just don't sound as good. That's so. Yeah, they're mastered from CD and shit. You want this. This is the one that you want, okay? Yeah, it's expensive, but it's worth it. And you can't, you really can't find this anywhere else. So fucking buy it from us, please. Before I do. All right, another reissue. This is not the original cover art because uh, Abwartz could not license the uh, photographer who did, you know, it's like the whole thing, like the dude jumping out of the window. It was kind of a Ouija type photograph. Anyway, the photographer didn't want to give the, uh, you know, permissions. So Bob Pollard was nice enough to make some cover art for this. And you may think it's ugly, but the record fucking rocks. So it's worth it for that. It's a legitimate reissue. This is not a bootleg. It sounds awesome. We've still got copies of it. So you need to grab it before they're gone. 
again, on the good sounding reissue tip, these can remasters sound fucking great. They sound better than my original United Artists pressings. So, and it's got the embossed cover on it and everything. Like you, you want this. This is the best can album with Dama Suzuki, in my opinion. I mean, not, it didn't used to be my favorite. Now it's my favorite. But now I think my favorite can isn't, it doesn't even have Damo in it. Anyway, buy this shit. It's really good. And the High Tide Groove, DJ's Choice, 1969 to 1981. We've been bumping this at the shop all the time. It's so good. It's just, I mean, it's got all the, the high records, usual suspects, Al Green, Ann Peebles, Syl Johnson, O.V. Wright. So you may look at this and say like, oh yeah, I've already got all these songs. Like, why do I need this? Well, you need it for convenience and you need it because the mastering on this is top notch. Like, the it, for some reason, the drums hit on every single one of these tracks super, super fucking hard. It's just, it's a pre-made dance party. Like, they, all the tracks just flow seamlessly into each other. It's perfect. Like, you just put this on for the party that you're going to have now that COVID's getting to be over and then you don't have to worry about touching your turntable. So get ready to party and buy this shit. All right. That's all I got. Thanks. Come on and buy some records. You can buy all of these in the Goner shop underneath the as seen on Goner TV. They will be there. Oh, wait a second. And we're back. Oh, hello. I'm back. I'm back. That's, uh, that's how we do it here at Goner TV. Seamless transitions. What are we on to next, Eric? Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. They did it this way. Uh, I think we're going to take another call. We're, uh, we're, we're reminiscing about Goner Fest. We're getting excited about the upcoming festival. Um, back in it, man. We are oh, back in I, it. We're back in it. What? what? I hear, I hear that. Let's, what is let's try to get whoever that is on the, on the line can there. We get, can we get somebody on the line? Do we have? Hello, baby. Whoa, who is this? Who are we talking to? Uh, it's not the Big Bopper speaking. It's Sarah Danger. Hi. Whoa. Sarah, this Sarah. is, this is a treat. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, long time, long time, Goner Fester. Yeah, well, thanks for calling. Yeah, uh, I was trying to think about when my first Goner Fest was, and I think it was eight or nine. It's, yeah. All the years have kind of turned into one drunken blur. Yeah. Tell me about it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That, that's that's the fun. Right. Yeah, so so uh, what what brought you down here to uh, start, and what, what brought you back? Well, uh, I had wanted to go for a while, but I didn't know anybody that was traveling this way because I was living in Wisconsin at the time. And then I met this awesome girl, and we came down to Goner, and I've been going back every year since. It's been really cool to go from, like, awestruck fan to, like, I got to play it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you have. Yeah, you have. Yeah. Killed it. Killed it. Um, um, uh, yeah, that yeah. lamplighter after party at four in the morning that, or whatever. That was, and I played that with a broken foot <laughs> that I had walked on all weekend. And oh, I didn't know it was broken. And I was just like, ah, I'm being a really big baby. <laughs> but no, but that show was incredible. Yeah, yeah, it, had, it was one of those moments that just kind of levitated out of that space, and it, it was just amazing. And then everybody yeah. was talking about it. It was Aww. really late. <laughs> um, what else? What What else do you remember? What's What's another good uh, good memory that you had, or a band that you you really enjoyed? Well, I was thinking about it, and I was going to bring up uh, that Guitar Wolf set oh, that yeah. you played at the top. It was yeah. mind blowing. <laughs> it was so yeah. good, and I couldn't believe they were all in leather outside. It was like ninety something. Yeah, 
Yeah, it, it was, was it was incredible. Dedication. We we were worried to that we started way too strong with that one, you know. It there's been so many times where if Sagey's gone and done something where I'm like, oh my, I, wait, is he gonna be able to do? It? At some point, I was just like, you don't ever have to worry about Sagey. Like that guy no. is he is Guitar Wolf is is not a human being. He will <laughs> he will be able to overcome whatever he has to go and do. He it is he is totally nuts and uh the show will never it's like you're gonna see the best show of all time doesn't matter when he gets up there totally great absolutely yeah, yeah. uh and, um, uh, having him MC the one night i think was was yes. one of the best uh that yeah. was totally amazing so that was fantastic <laughs> that was so good I, I i couldn't find clips of that but we'll we'll pull that out some some it's other gotta time. Be somewhere. they exist in my mind yeah <laughs> Well, cool. Well, yeah. Thanks for thanks for calling in. You know, it's it's just it's nice to to hear from from our our friends from all over the place who've yeah. been to so many of these festivals who really are the festival. You know, if you come down here, you see bands, but hanging out with everybody is is it's really a family. So much fun. And yeah. what you said before was kind of like that's kind of the epitome of the show of the festival, right? It's like the idea that you can uh, you can start out. Uh, off of the stage and then watch that person that is up on stage jump, jump down next to you and then like be cheering on the band right next to you, you know, and then you ultimately yeah. wind up on the stage too. Like you're at that, you're living that's, the dream. That's it. That's Sarah. true. Absolutely. <laughs> living the dream. And now, All right. now people are awestruck by you. That's right. Yeah. You're doing Aww. it. It is. It's the circle. It's the circle of goner. Awesome. Well, thanks. <laughs> thanks for goner. calling in. Yeah. All right. Thanks, well, Sarah. Thanks well, having me. Hopefully right. we see you in September. Our, oh, yep, absolutely. Yep, see great, great, great. All right. Bye. Sounds great. Do we have another call? Do we have another call or are we going to videos? What what's it what's it look like? I don't know. I it's what I don't me. We've got a, a well, that's model what, A pulled up. Is that outside? <laughs> are you, <do> we have, <laughs> Andy Cap an older is, is Andy Cap here? Is there? A, is there? A, do we have a caller? Hello. Hello. It, it might be a nutria. Hello. Who are Hello? you? Hello? Hey. Oh. Oh, hi. Yeah, you're just coming through. Uh, do Do we have a caller on the line? What are, are you here to talk about? Gonerfest? Oh, okay. Okay. All right. You got good reception now. Uh, hey. Hello. Yeah, we got you live on Goner TV. What's going on? Who is this? I'm at work. My name's, my name's Sean. Hey, Sean. Uh, what can we talk to you about? Oh, uh, I just wanted to mention that uh, I'm really excited about uh, Garner Fest this year, and uh, I have a, a cool Garner Fest story. Oh, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Thanks, yeah, Sean. I'm at, I'm at work. Uh, I'm 15. I work at a bar uh, doing dishes, and the story was kind of loud at first. Oh, that's cool, man. It's cool. Tell us that story. My... my I, I, the first Garner Fest I went to, I, I saw Spitz, and it was awesome, um, but I was six, and I got, I got left, and my, like, my aunt lives in Memphis, but my family's from, uh, out east, and, uh, like, um, yeah, I got, they left me, I, I knew my, my aunt's phone number, and, uh, Oh, I gotta pass through the bar again. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That sounds terrible, Sean. That, that that's a that's a hor that's a horrifying story. Um, how how did how did it wind up? The, did you go home with spits? Hold on, hold on. No, no, no. Put it now. Put it. Put it back in the. Put it back in the auto pool. Okay, put it back out. Put it back out. Thanks for calling during work. We really appreciate you taking the time. I like the dedication. Anyway, uh, so I get into town and my mom, my mom's like, we're going to go see this band called The Spits. I'm a really big fan. I think she knew one of the guys. I don't know. She talked to him for a long time. And, uh, it's possible. I was standing it's in the possible. corner and there was, a, there was like no room really for me. Um, so I just kind of stood in, in the back of the, of the, uh, the high note and just stood there and watched the band play. Um, but uh, it was awesome, and it, and it really got me into music, and I, I actually ended up 
getting a stay with my aunt every September. Um, she would school me for a month, and I would uh, I'd sneak off and go to Donner Fest with my aunt. Um, but uh, yeah, the last time I saw uh, mom, uh, she was talking to uh, one of the dudes in the spits, and uh, that was it. But, but uh, she's called me since, and she's doing good. I don't know. I, I don't know where she is, but she's she's gotten in touch with me and my aunt, and uh, I'm I'm really happy about my aunt. She's like really taking over. She's like the rock and roll aunt. And not a lot of people have rock and roll aunt. It's cool. But well, Sean, that's a cool that's aunt. that's cool a cool aunt's rule. That's a crazy story. I mean, uh, it's great that you know. Clearly, you you were able to get into rock and roll at at an early age from that show, and. And clearly, your mom was able to too. Yeah. So, like, that's that's just great for everybody in the family. I, it's great right. to hear really you like say that. You on. say that, but at, at the end of every Goner Fest, we we have a, a number of a lot of very six year olds oh. that are left behind, especially when the spits play. And um, we have an arrangement with uh, with some places to. You know, and and eventually they work in the bars, and you know they they, they form their own bands. I got it early. So, yeah. So yeah, that's a it's a it, it's a it's a success story. It's all a, around. It's a different circle of goner, but it's yeah. a it's 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 its own little thing. Thanks, Sean, hey, you do for this sharing for your stories. Years, you this know. was really great. Yeah, I met other I met other kids I met other kids too, and it's always yeah. like it's like a family yeah. thing. Yeah. And, uh, well, look if you. Okay. It, like, I'm calling to say I'm okay. To say I'm okay. It, it, and I'll be back. We'll let your mom know. We'll let your mom know. Yeah, tell your mom. Um, and uh, you know, send that demo, demo tape in, and uh, f from from that new band, and uh, can't wait to hear it. Thanks, All Sean. Right. Let's let's go to some more Goner Fest videos. <laughs> I think maybe. Yeah. Goner Fest TV, guys. Oh, Goner TV. Goner Fest TV. Goner TV. Whoa. Goner Fest. Goner Goner Fest TV. V fast go.
Thank you, Garner, for having us. This is our last song.
So most of the time when I head out to nature, I like to travel very light and just carry three things. My phone, a cheap macro lens that fits into my pocket, and of course, my uh, handy binoculars. My phone serves as my camera, but also I use my iNaturalist app to identify plants and insects I'm unfamiliar with. I highly recommend you download it. All right, now back to Overton. Crossvine produces one of my favorite flowers in the spring, but they often grow high in trees, so you won't really notice them until a storm or a heavy wind knocks them to the ground. They smell amazing too. It smells like mocha. A barred owl left a little gift. I found what seems to be part of a raptor pellet. Whoever coughed this up was mainly on a squirrel diet. So this is either a broad-headed skink or a five-line skink, and you actually cannot tell the difference between the two unless you can get close enough to count the number of scales between their nose and their eyes. We're back. Oh. Well, hello. Hello there. Thanks, hello there, Chelly, viewers. for the uh, na natural moment, the moment of nature we've been enjoying. I can't see this at all. So. Yeah. <laughs> Where are the readers? Where are the readers? Oh. No, they're right here. <laughs> do we, uh, what, what are we, what are we talking about now? Are we, are we... Oh, uh, we just, uh, what did we see? Well, we, well, we, we saw we some cool, saw... Mu cool music videos from from Goner Fest past. That's right. We, uh, Aus Mutants, Archaics. Um, uh, J uh, James Arthur Manhunt. Guitar Wolf started us off. Um, uh, Giorgio Murder oh, was yes, in there. We sure did. Um, that was fun. And it was a fun walk down memory lane. That's right. Yeah, the arca the archaic sounded really good. Um, the that uh, manhunt set we were commenting that the sound was excellent. Thanks, Rocket, Rocket Science. Science Audio. Thanks, guys and and girls um, for cranking that out. That was awesome. Um, so yeah, we're we're uh, we're excited about Gonerfest. I guess uh, I guess 
we've got uh, another caller coming in. I, I'm not sure. I don't know whether I, we've if, probably if, talked to everybody that's been to prob- Gone probably don't now. have anybody. I mean, we're probably just gonna you know need to actually come out with uh, come out with something on on it. I don't really know whether there's anybody. No, oh, thank goodness, there's a call. Thank goodness, we're almost gonna have to what? talk about Garner Fest. I, uh, upcoming Gunner Fest. I guess, Let's talk about old Gunner Fest. There's somebody on the phone now. I mean, I guess. We Who are we talk talking to? Are you there? Hello. 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 Okay. Oh, hi there, caller. Hey, this is Anthony Bedard calling you from San Francisco. Hey, Anthony, how are you doing? What's up, Tony? How are you? Oh, I'm doing great, guys. Um, yeah, I, I guess I was just calling in. To, I I don't know if I was supposed to call about this or just email. I was seeing. Uh, you know, I've been at a bunch of Goner Fests. Uh, I've played in a few different bands. I've played there with Hank Four, Icky Boyfriends, Bead Time. Uh, you sure have. Well, I played with Toads. I've DJed and I've MC'd at Goner Fest. But you guys still have gotten back to me about um, I've got this new, I, I sent you a demo. Uh, my one man a cappella tribute to the Oblivions. Uh huh. Uh huh. Call, 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 call the shots. I've, I've got a. Uh, I've, I've got one song. I, I, should I just sing? I was gonna. I was gonna, I was gonna sing Jim Cole to you. I was. I was hoping we weren't We'd gonna love get to hear to, it. We'd love I, to I was, hear it. Yeah. I thought maybe we could get through this email, call without that. I, we I, we emailed you back. You might check your uh, spam folder. My spam. My spam. Well, well, look, I was anyway, hoping we weren't gonna get into this, but. Uh, I'm, right. I'm, I'm bringing. I'm bringing my. One man acapella tribute to the Oblivions to Goner Fest. It's like catnip for the for the Goner Fest attendees. I, I think you guys. Yeah. Well, now you're here. You're here. You're here. You've 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 infiltrated headquarters. You might as well go ahead and give it to us. I, this this was inspired by the the year I emceed when I, I held the uh, it was an acapella singing contest for Giorgio Murderer's Dean from Star Trek. Which yeah, you guys might remember, that. was drawn by Charlotte Watson. Um, but any, you know, anyway, I, <laughs> vaguely, yeah, vaguely. Only, How could we forget? He was the only person who knew all the all the words to the to that song. Anyway, here we go. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna bust out a little uh, Jim Cole for you guys, and then you, you tell me whether or not I should book my ticket. All right, here we go. Jim Cole's got too much soul. I can't stand it. 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 Wow. We'll get back to you. Pasco uh, will be proud. I, 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 we'll, 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 our, our, our travel agent will get in touch. I think we've got some tickets for you. Wow. And, uh, yeah, yeah, that was, that was great. That was great. Hey, oh, hey, if, uh, if, if the Oblivions play again and I can't remember a song, I'll, I'll probably be calling you. So. I, think, I think that's um, the only one I know. Oh, okay. I forget that one, too. So, Fair enough, Tony. That was great. Thank you for uh, thanks for the phone call in and uh, the live. Uh, it was kind of like The Voice. This is kind of uh, Goner's version of The Voice, and um, we'll get back to you. I would do something like they do on The Voice, but I don't know what they do. So, uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks. Good to hear from you, and uh, hope to see you I, on stage I, at uh, Goner Fest with that act. Thanks for having me on Goner Fest Nation. See you in September. Love you guys. All right. Right on, buddy. Right. See Take ya. Take care. Take care. Is that it? Do we have well, any any other calls? Or we, do we I actually... don't know. That would, that, I, I feel like it, it, when you end with an a cappella uh, rendition demo that is done for you, that, that might be the, the, the right time to just sort of yeah. pull the plug. You know? I mean, pull the like, plug? You set off the fireworks. Oh. It's a... It's, uh, well, it sort of depends on how, how yeah. well you felt about that, I guess. Wow. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, so, so let's. These let's are the make things some that go into it. These are the let's, things that go into it. Let's make some Goner announcements. Fest. Oh, oh, all right, yeah, all right. I'm, I'm ready. We are, we are going to do Goner Fest. 
Oh. We, do we have the dates? The 23rd through the 26th, I believe, are the dates. Thursday. September 23rd through the 26th. 2021. And it's happening here in Memphis, Tennessee. Gutterfest! That's right. And uh, it will be uh, mostly out of doors. So uh, it'll be... We got not- a nice location that is going to uh, keep everybody... Uh, uh, effectively socially distant, but also all within the same realm. And uh, you know, it's going to be a little bit different than Gonerfests have been in the past, but we're going to try and keep as much of uh, the regular feels of the festival uh, in a safe situation. Right. Okay. So it's going to be, it's not going to be like Cal Jam 2 or the Us Festival. Um, it's going to be more Goner, Goner friendly outdoors. You know, you know, the, the outdoor shows that we've done at Goner Fest are, you know, they're always fun. It's it's not, yeah, it's not, not as sleeping f- out in a parking lot someplace. You're not going out to some plantation. No. Bonnaroo, you know, was fun for the first 15 years, but um, I'm over it. Yeah. I'm, I think. I still pull out my knit hat every once in a while. Um, he does. Yeah. And uh, so we'll have tickets up in... in uh, uh, by the end of the month, I think yeah. some so is what we're aiming for. Still working on that. Yeah, but uh, everything's happening, and we yeah, have, basically you have a you have a you have a way to be able to come here and do Goner Fest, and then there'll also be a uh, a streaming version um, that you know if you if you're not comfortable flying, not ready to get out, if you're in foreign lands, and uh, these things are more difficult. Every everybody's dealing with different stuff, so it's a little bit it's tricky. Right. So you can also be at the festival and streaming the festival and watching it on the, your phone at the same time, which is really what we're aiming for. So um, and uh, we can announce. Ready? That Quintron's full band is going to be playing. Quintron with the full band. Quintron and Miss Pussycat. And I don't think they have played this anywhere. This, the, they from, did it on the from on the, the last Donner. record. There they, was a large tour that was planned on happening during pandemic. It was all shelved. This is uh, this is the uh, they're going to be doing the the show based on the record that we put out last year with drums, guitar, full band behind them, massive Quintron and Miss Pussycat show. If you love Super Quintron, excited. the full band is gonna is gonna just amplify it. If you hate Quintron, the full band is gonna turn your head around. So, um, we also uh, have another band to announce. Uh huh. We are gonna do uh, Raining Sound. Raining Sound. The Memphis lineup will be here. Will be headlining a night. Uh, they've got they've got their new record coming out, and uh, so they've got new material, old material. The Memphis band, it's it's uh, fantastic, classic lineup that you love, yeah. uh, and it is uh, it is going to be totally amazing, um, and so glad to have them. That's right. And we got, I think there's one more headliner to announce. Well, I mean, there's a lot of headliners that we can't put at the top spot, but uh, the other one we are going to, you know, a lot of them open up the show. You know, the, the thing true. about Goner Fest is people come to us three years later and say, hey, man, I, I just heard this band They're They should get them for Goner Fest. We say, yep, they played Goner Fest three years ago. So yeah. um, headliner is a uh, is a is a is a, is a funny, uh, funny little place. But, but call your moms, call your aunts. The Spits are coming oh, back. Oh, no! The Spits have a new album. Sean, I'm sorry! They'll be playing the rainy, or they'll be playing their record, or some of their record, and uh, the Spits are going to be back at Goner Fest, playing outdoors, festival rocking. All for your moms and your aunts. All the six-year-olds will be in the corners. All the unborn babies that they uh, can play they will, to. They will sing to the unborn babies. As they have here at Goner, if we could just dig up that tape, that would be awesome. The Spitz performed r- right here, actually, where we're sitting right now, and uh, did one of the best shows I've seen them do to about eight people. One of which was a very pregnant uh, woman, and half the, at least half the songs were dedicated to that unborn child, who is probably about eighteen right now. So come to the show, a, a newly born child, eighteen years ago. Maybe her. In, in, in fact, maybe her band will be opening. You, That's right. We'll, we're going to work on that. All coming together. We're going to work on that. Uh, 
Then, then, then uh, dumpsters were knocked over, and Corey Brannon was picked up at the Young Avenue Deli. We, we, just, and they were, and Jay, Jay, and Sean were kicked out of the deli in about thirty seconds. No more screwdriver bars on the side of the no, counter here we've at Gone Records. That we've was learned. a bad idea anyway, for the Sunday end store. We've we've got a lot more bands coming, but those are the biggies that we're announcing right now. So. Uh, you know, book your tickets. Look at there's a lot a lot of hotels in Memphis that are actually um, opened up in the last year. Uh, we're trying to trying to see who will be Goner Fest friendly. We might have some R.I.P. Artisan uh, Hotel. <laughs> they loved us. Man, the videos of everybody doing the the slides all the way through into the pool off of the we need uh, to pull those out. chairs. Yeah. That's what we need to track down. Doing the Matt Muscle Shuffle. Um, Matt Muscle Shuffle happened about that same yeah same year maybe so uh so yeah we're, hopefully we'll have a hotel deal but there are a, a lot of new options in in Memphis everything's going down the tubes real quick so get here while well look uh, out while you can look out um they're they're bringing in I don't know who the gentries <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah it's gentried gentried fied something. <laughs> anyway, so Goner Fest, <laughs> September 23rd to 26th. I think we've got uh, a few more uh, uh, clips. Uh, reminisce among yourselves while you're talking to your travel agent. Uh, and uh, and we got more, more, more. Uh, yeah, we'll announce actual ticket dates here very shortly. Uh, stay tuned to all of the normal places, and we'll let you know when the tickets go on sale. It's going to happen we're really the excited. end of the month. We're really excited. Hope you are, too. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, thanks for coming to Goner Fest for so many years. Appreciate it. Shine out that page.
ride the rock along. Let's go ride the rock along. Okay, so yeah, come on. Okay, check out. Right. Yeah, there's more of that King Brothers on the Vimeo channel. Uh, so go check it out. It's uh, incredible. King Brothers. Uh, there was no set that was not unbelievably draw, jaw dropping. That, that was that was how we closed that that festival, and whew, that was that was the end right there. Also Mike saw drop. Also saw some uh, great action from X Cold and Mud Honey in that uh, set. Um, there's been that was a cool collab. A lot of good hair. Uh, yeah, so uh, we got uh, we are very excited about Goner Fest. Thanks for tuning in, um, and we'll be back in two weeks. We got Aquarian Blood live uh, on the next episode. Their new record is coming out at the end of the month. Um, we and, might take some phone calls about it. That'll be fun. Yeah, we you know if you got something to call in on, drop. JB's always up for something. Drop us a line. Uh, Thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. And uh, take care of yourselves. All right. Have a good couple of weeks. We'll see you in two. Appreciate it. Make time for making love